Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I'm back with another What Did I Get video. You seem to really like the first one and you really like my concept, so I'm going to continue doing it. This is 12 and a half meters and these are sold at the range. Now I first saw this length maybe 18 months ago and me and my mum brought 20 rolls. But we brought that many to last us and I haven't had to buy any ribbons since. So I think in 18 months, 20 pound on ribbon and me and my mum always go halves. But 10 pound for a year and a half worth of ribbon, I don't think that's too bad. So I was super pleased when I went to the range and that's where all of this is purchased from to find that they have brought back all of the 12 and a half meter spools with the fabric ribbon and that's what I'm stressing it's the fabric ribbon personally for me I don't mind using the satin ribbons but some of them are very cheap and I sometimes get dry skin on my fingers or on your nail or you catch it just on some of the paper and it hitches and it doesn't maybe cut very well so I try to stay away from the satin ones unless they're good quality ones then they're a little bit different but let me just take all the plastic off of these and show you just how nice they are so in total here I've got 125 meters. Also I just want to stress that these are a pound, they are also plain. It's just that really nice fabric, really good quality. Yeah, you can't go wrong with it. And for 12 and a half meters, so I got a really nice cream. Now these ones you will find in the big bins when you go into the range, when you're in the craft section, they're usually at the end of the aisles. They're like big hexagon um, shaped big bins and they always have these in there. So I got this lovely cream. I've got this beautiful coral, absolutely love that colour. Really, really nice again. See the detail, it's got little ridges through it as well. It's really nice. A couple of different lengths as well. This is all the half inch. There's a really nice, almost, see that's a, that's a corally peach. That's a corally red. It's not a deep Christmas red. You can kind of put it against my nails there. You see it's got more of an orange tone to it. So I've got the red. Then I got this really nice, really kind of happy sky blue, a little bit deeper, but really, again, look at that. Isn't, it looks quite turquoise because the light's hitting it, but it is a little bit darker. So that's the blue. They don't have colors on this. They're decorative ribbon by Craft Sensation, Sensations. Actually, is the batch numbers different? Because maybe, no, batch numbers are all the same. Again, if you're buying two rolls, so if you need, for example, you're doing something maybe for a wedding or a party and you want a lot, check your batch numbers. So here at the bottom, it will have the number, make sure both your spools, spools have the same batch number and then you've got exactly the same colors because they will vary slightly. Then I've got this beautiful yellow and this, these three colors actually inspired, um, reminded me of the Cascade card that I shared last week. Um, and I done those colors and I just think now how nice those three colored ribbons would have looked with that Cascade card. But this ribbon will feature, you know, all the time. And, you know, if you ever do think, oh, I wonder what ribbons Sam uses, unless I've been given to them through design team product um, packages, like my trim craft, it will be the craft sensations and it will be the fabric ribbon. Really nice kind of peachy, very, very light peach, because you can see those two sit really nice together. So they're like your two peach tones. And then I got these thinner ones. Oh no, sorry, I got that one as well. So that's turquoise, really lovely color there. So I just hold them up on the side, but look at all those lovely colors. Okay, then I got this here, this beautiful thin orange, quarter of an inch with that white stitching going through the center. Gorgeous, and then that's the same pattern for all the others. So there's this white one with the green stitching. I thought it's gonna look so nice in Easter projects. And just yeah just lovely perfect for handles and then I got this one here and that's again it's that same coral there so if you ever do like double bows and that and that together look how nice that is so yeah that's why I go mad when I see the 12 and a half meters get it it doesn't stay around for long it does go because after me and mum kind of raided it <laughs> Then we saw it going down and down and down. This was 18 months ago and it never ever went back in again. Now I'm not saying that's for all range stores, but I live in Plymouth and we've now just had the superstore because that's where the range actually originated from. So the owner lives in Plymouth and um, the superstore's amazing now. We're getting so much stuff and I think that's why we've been lucky to get these. So hopefully they are available in all range stores or a lot of them. And if not, I'll check online as well and I'll share those links below. Next, I got the sequins. Now I've got these three and that one and they are all kind of new I think they've just changed kind of the mix, but that lovely one there, you see it like mermaid kind of color. I haven't seen that one before. And I haven't seen these mixes. I've seen the colors, but not mixed this way. That one just screams St. Patrick's Day. Look at all those lovely different green tones. But I really struggle with the, especially like the deep, look at that lovely deep olive color. 
and just that emerald green that's just going to look lovely and then this one here look you've got the lovely gold you've got the real kind of browns there bronze colors rose gold and then this one here you've got gunmetal silver white and black and they're just really nice unusual colors and now i've just done those monochrome cards that i shared last week i can add these sequins to that as well just for a little bit more texture so yeah a pound again try not to spend more than a pound they are out there just look around and sometimes it's you know have a little look on the internet as well because if this isn't in your range store it should be online and again i will check and share those links so got that then I picked up these, and these are new. I hadn't seen them before. I, I, I say new as in they're new that I've seen and been in the range. They haven't been there before. And these are by Dovecraft, and they're 24 paper blossoms. And this is aqua, amethyst, peach, and yellow. And they are really, really cute. Now, um, when I've received some of my design team packets, packages, um, they have had these paper flowers. So we had them in the Fairy Tales collection. Um, but they do different obviously the patterns to match in colors and stuff but I just thought how lovely are these now if you haven't used these before they come together but there's so many kind of sandwiched together you can see there oh, there's actually four amongst that I oh, know three you take them apart and then if I just grab my little mat here and I just like to kind of shape them turn them over I like to give them a bit more shape again and then do it that way and again grab another one here and you can change you can mix and match the sizes and the prints you know you've got a lovely one with hearts on you've got a bigger yellow there slightly different yellow that's more of a daffodil yellow I guess and you even got a different style again there as well look at the bigger ones at the back and they are they're sandwiched together but you do that and then get another one there just shape that a little bit but this, these are good cheap flowers, so if you don't want to die cut lots of things, and then you stick them together, put a bit of glue in there, and I'll just bring it up, and you just get these really nice little flowers. So yeah, so they are a pound, and I think that's a really good bargain. Love that one, I love the aqua. Just look at all those different greens. You've got the turquoise there, you've got polka dot. That one there's got the hearts. And there is loads in there. I know it's 24, but I'm sure you get the odd extras. But again, if you see them, I recommend them. You will see me featuring them all the time because I use lots of flowers. Then just a couple of little extras that I threw in. I really loved these wooden little bunny rabbit embellishments and I'm going to be using these in my up and coming Easter um, week which I do every year and I thought these are going to look lovely on my gift bags, gift tags, gift boxes, cards, all kinds of things. So you get two, four, six, eight and that was a pound. Then I thought that was quite good and they've got they've got foam adhesive already on the back but I'll probably add a bit of stronger glue as well which leads me then nicely to the last thing I got and that's glue you you may have seen me use this already before this is the Dovecraft silicone glue um, I get some people emailing me saying that you know they don't use or don't like to use a hot glue gun and I totally get that it I've burnt myself on them before and they aren't everybody's cup of tea if you don't like using hot glue and you still want a real thick glue then I recommend silicone glue purely because it's really good when you're attaching your fabric bows or any kind of heavier embellishments. It dries clear and um, it says here it's totally clear, stays flexible, it's non-toxic and it's a 3D permanent adhesive. Now the reason I like it is because it obviously gives dimension as well to your project. It's also good value for money so you don't have to go out of your way on expensive glue. Don't even use this piece here because it does tend to get clogged up. I just take off the end here and then I would just have my bow and I just literally put a little bit on there and then stick it down it doesn't dry instantly so just stick it down put it to one side just like you would with any other your other kind of you know wet glues things like this but um yeah just thought I'd throw that one in there as well just so that you so I know I always like to hear about different glues that people use and why they like them so yeah so I will share all the links in the video description below and that's it for this week thanks for watching bye